Growing up near Lancaster, South Carolina, I knew it as the hometown of a black man named Jim Duncan, who became a Super Bowl hero. Duncan up to the 15, the 20. Now my new podcast, Return Man, I'll discover that his death still makes no sense at all. The story was that my brother took a gun off a police officer and shot himself in the head. Most people don't believe that. It involves race, the mental state of the person, and a town that was scared to say anything. Listen to Return Man on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, is my strawberry letter for today. Subject, there's turmoil in my congregation. Uh Uh-oh. You hear Uh that? Uh Uh Uh-oh, this must be from a pastor. What? There's turmoil Mm -hmm. in my congregation. Bitch, I know the church, too. Uh Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh-oh. It could be any church in America. But right now, (laughs) the nephew is here with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Well, Shirley, we might as well go on on and get in that category. Today's title is Church Fees. Church Fees. (laughs) As many people that you prank in the church, are you even allowed to go? I go to churches where they don't know who I am. (laughs) (laughs) I go where I cannot be recognized. Right now, this is church fees. Running cat dog. Mm. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Sister Tracy. Hey, you got her. Hey. Uh, How you doing? This is uh, is Brother Glenn from the church. Hey, Brother Glenn. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm real good. Uh, Did you enjoy service this morning? Oh, I I enjoyed it. Pastor, (laughs) whoo! Pastor brought it down. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, my God. That was a word for me. Right, 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 right. So, what do I owe the pleasure of this call? Uh, I wanted to give you some information that the... um, that the church has come up with, and we wanted to let you know what was going on before next Sunday. You, I, I didn't interrupt you, did I? Uh, no, no. I actually, uh, I, I, I may sound a little, little off a little bit. I'm trying to, to get dinner ready for my little babies, my little darlings, and I'm trying to. Your voice sounds so familiar to me. It just sounds so familiar. I'm trying to place, place that voice. Okay. Well, you've seen me at the church quite a few times. I think I have. I'm just trying to place it. I, I can't place it right now. But what can, okay. what can I do, okay. Glenn? Well, okay. nevertheless, I, I just wanted. Here's, here's what's going on. Uh, now, are you aware that for the last uh, the last six Sundays you've been actually uh, coming into service late? Have you realized that? Yes, I I, um, I, I know. I, I, I'm sorry about that, but, uh, I, you know, yes, I have. I have my reasons, though. Okay. Okay, well, here's what's going on. The officials at the church have uh, gotten together, and this is what they've decided on, is that anybody who is late uh, starting next Sunday, there will be a $15 charge for that for coming in and disrupting service. Uh, and the ha, 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 pastor's, the pastor's tired of service being disrupted by people walking in late. That that could not come at a worse time. I don't have $15 to give. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that we're late. We are doing our best. I have three young kids, two, seven, and nine, and they are a handful. And we do the best that we can to get to church on time. And to tell you the truth, when we get there, it's during praise and worship. I mean, Pastor ain't even preaching yet. So okay. I know it's not. Pastor's not up yet, but he's he's stating that uh, people coming in, it just seems very disruptive to the service that's going on. That's So nevertheless, like I said, this is a warning call, you know, to let you know that if you are late on next Sunday, then they, they will be charging you $15 uh, a late charge. And, and actually, you won't be able to even come in uh, until, you, uh, until you pay the $15. I can't even get in church with, with, look, okay, look, I don't owe nothing. I don't owe you no explanation. But I need to tell you something. We are, me and my kids, for the last few Sundays that we've been late, it's because my car broke down. We we are on the bus, man, public transportation. Okay. I mean, I, and I understand, I understand, I, I, I sympathize with everything that you're going through. But why are you calling, if you understand, why are you calling me about $15 if you understand what I'm going through? Well, I didn't, I, first of all, I didn't know what you were going, why are you raising your voice at me? Why are you raising, did you just raise your voice at me? You know what, you know what, I think you're raising your voice at me. How dare okay. you call me about this, about a fee, and I'm there at church? I got my kids in there trying to raise them up in the way they should go, just like the Bible say. And you know why I got to do this and why I'm late, why, I'm, why we got to catch the bus. Do you understand why that is, Brother Glenn? No, I do not. That is because they, because their daddies ain't uh, and uh, they, yeah. Okay, so, Tracy, just, you, you got to calm down a little bit now. Uh, oh, 
Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help okay, me. listen. Uh, so here's the deal. All I can do is tell you this. I hope you can make it. Maybe you can catch an earlier bus, you know what I mean, and get there a little earlier. But but I'm just stating the facts that as of next Sunday, if you come in late, it's $15 late fee, and that's what you'll pay in order to get in the service. You know what? Well, maybe next Sunday I just won't be there. How about that? You know, I'm already working six days a week. The only day I have off is Sunday. I'm breaking, breaking my back. Do you know I work two jobs? I work two jobs, and they always trying to take money out of my check, always trying to pull me here and there, and I'm always tired. I get two hours of sleep, and then now the church wants to dump another $15 charging me for being at church when that's what I'm supposed to do? But you're coming in late, though, Sister Tracy. You, you know what? You know what? Late ain't bad, okay? I, I might be delayed, but I ain't denied, and I'm getting there the best way that I know how. We're on the bus. I have to put my kids on the school bus. And not only did I have to put them on the school bus, then I have to get on the bus myself to work because I don't have a car because their daddies ain't doing nothing, nothing for them. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I need to under... Daddy, daddy number one? Guess what? He ain't Daddy number two? He in jail. Been there about five years. He ain't And daddy number three? <laughs> he decided to go ahead and walk out. He ain't, I ain't heard from that that trifling in about seven months. Now, he know we're struggling. He had the nerve to take my wallet, too. You don't, you don't even understand what I'm going through. You don't even understand that I'm trying to make a better life for me and my children. There is one more thing, Sister Tracy, that the church wants you to know before next Sunday that you definitely need to know. And what one more thing does the church want me to know besides $15? The church just wants you to know that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your sister Patrice got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> I am going to whoop her. I'm going to whoop her. I'm going to whoop her. Are you? She know I ain't got time for that. She know I ain't got time for that. Oh, Patrice. Uh-huh. Yeah, girl, your sister got you. You all right? <laughs> Oh, I got something for her. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> she told me, she said, she said, my sister car broke oh. down. She said she got these kids. She over there struggling, struggling. She trying to make it. But you got to give her a hard time. She just wanted she wanted, she wanted you to put a, she wanted to put a smile on your face. <laughs> well, she did. Well, once things settled, I'm going to have to say she did. <laughs> okay. You all right? Wow, now that I know you, y'all were joking, and now I know this is nephew Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got to ask you something, baby. What's the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All Her right. Fees. How many, how many? She should pay. She should pay. Okay. I you mean, you won't be coming in late no more, I bet you. You let it go a couple of times. After three or four, you need to pay. Need to pay. <laughs> uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah. Carla, don't nobody care about what you did the night before? Yeah. Don't nobody care? What's wrong for this? It Y'all seems to much. be every Sunday with her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this, this the last four or five times, Carla, she just showed up late. You know, look now. <laughs> so? It's a late fee when you come in. Mm-mm, mm-mm. And it's just Love another it. way for the church to make money because we have things we have to pay for. Church fees. I like it. Now, when y'all yeah. get to church, Shirley and Carla, what time y'all get there? I get there early. Yeah. I get there mm-hmm. on time. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, so no, ain't now one of y'all walk in after praise and worship. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, when, when I was younger, but, you know, now. It was now, devotion. <laughs> you know, now it's different. You know, I like to be on time. I, I just like Rent. to be on time for the word. I, I do. I like to be on time for God. That's because he's on time for me. And that's how I look at it. Rent a car and take it back late. See what happens. I like what Shirley is saying, but, you know, get a seat. Yeah, get a seat. (laughs) You know, all of that. Absolutely. I like showing up for for him because he shows up. Let me ask y'all this, y'all. Another thing about church. Why do some of these people think they got season seats? Like they can sit there every Every Sunday. Oh, oh absolutely. That belong to uh, them. What, what, what is now? that about? We, we have a section where we sit. Yeah. Because I, people I are know. creatures they, of they habit, habit, Tommy. Yeah. Uh-huh. They like yeah. sitting where they sit well, where they like to sit. I but like you to ain't sit up in the front. No seat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, nephew. Lot. Thank you guys. We gotta get out of here. Up next, <laughs> it is today's strawberry letter subject. There's turmoil in my congregation and <laughs> turmoil on the show about it right now. <laughs> uh, we'll get into it right after this. 